بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی سیلف اریبا عزیز آم یو بایولوجی ٹیچر ہاؤ آر یو اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ہوپ یو ول بی فائن اوکے لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ود دا ہیلپ آف دا مورل لیسن ڈیٹ از ریسپیکٹ یور ایلڈرس اور پیرنٹ ٹو گڈ ٹو یور پیرنٹس اے پیرنٹ لو از دا ہول نو میٹر ہاؤ مینی ٹائم ڈیوائڈیڈ سو پیرنٹس مے ناٹ ہیو گیون یو واٹ یو وانٹیڈ بٹ دیٹ شوڈ ناٹ بی دا ریزن آف یور لیک آف ریسپیکٹ فار دیم دے ہیو گیون یور برتھ اینڈ دیٹ از انف ریزن فار دیم ٹو ہیو یور ریسپیکٹ لو اینڈ کائنڈنیس سو وی شوڈ ریسپیکٹ یور پیرنٹس اینڈ ایلڈرس اوکے اسٹوڈینٹس لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک دا ٹاپک از اینزائم اینڈ دا آلسو دا یونٹ نمبر سکس دیٹ از اباؤٹ دا اینزائم سو ان دس ٹاپک وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا انٹروڈکشن آف اینزائم Today we are, we are going to start our new chapter that is unit number 6. In this chapter we will discuss enzyme in detail. So first of all we will discuss the term that is metabolism. So what is metabolism? Okay boys, so what is metabolism? The term metabolism is derived from a Greek word its meaning change. ٹھیک ہے میٹابولزم از اے ورڈ دیٹ کمز فرام دا ورڈ دیٹ دا گریک ورڈ اٹ مین ٹو چینج سو واٹ از اے پراپر ڈیفینیشن میٹابولزم از اے سیٹ آف دا بایو کیمیکل ریئیکشنز دیٹ اکر ان دا لیونگ آرگنیزم ان آرڈر ٹو مینٹین دا لائف ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ دیٹ میٹابولزم اکر ان دا لیونگ آرگنیزم اور لیونگ باڈی ٹو مینٹین دا لائف ان دا باڈی آف دا لیونگ آرگنیزم دے آر دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپ آف دا کیمیکل ریئیکشن دیٹ آر ٹیکنگ پلیس ایٹ ایوری ٹائم لک ایٹ دس پکچر دے آر مینی کیمیکل ریئیکشن دیٹ آر ٹیکنگ پلیس ان دا باڈی آف لیونگ آرگنیزم سو واٹ ول ہیپن وین وی سم اپ آل دس بایو کیمیکل ریئیکشن دیٹ از نون ایز دا میٹابولزم سو دا لائف آف دا لیونگ آرگنیزم از اے ریفلیکشن واٹ از گوئنگ ان دیئر باڈیز ان دیئر باڈیز دے آر دا مینی ٹائپ آف دا کیمیکل ریئیکشن آر ٹیکنگ پلیس سو دیز کیمیکل ریئیکشن آر کولیکٹیولی نون ایز دا میٹابولزم سو ہیئر از این سائنٹسٹ سائنٹسٹ نیم واز ابن نفیس ہی واز اے سائنٹسٹ ہو فرسٹ ٹائم ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا میٹابولزم ہی واز دا فرسٹ سائنٹسٹ ہو ڈسکرائب دا کانسیپٹ آف میٹابولزم واٹ از دا کانسیپٹ آف ابن نفیس ہی اسٹیٹڈ دیٹ دا باڈی and its parts are always undergoing changing so what does it mean in the body and the in the part of the body different type of the chemical reactions that are taking place that's why the body goes under that's why the body do or undergoes the changing that are happening in the body with the help of metabolism so then we will discuss about the importance of the metabolism what is the importance of metabolism metabolism processes allow organism to grow and reproduce to maintain their structure to respond to their environment so we can say that all living organism need energy for doing all these processes like growth reproduction to maintain their structure and respond to their environment and this energy comes from all the chemical reactions that are happening in the body so that's why metabolism is very important for the processing of the function that are happening in the living organism then we discuss about the types of the biochemical reactions there are, let's see the types of the biochemical reactions and the, these are the types of the metabolism there are the two types of the biochemical reactions anabolism and catabolism so what is anabolism and what is catabolism as the term anabolism here means that the constructive reaction in which the new things are made and catabolism mean the destructive reaction there which the things are broken down so what is the proper definition of anabolism anabolism includes the biochemical reaction in which the large molecules are synthesized look at this picture in this picture they are the small molecules when they are combined together they form the large molecule in this reaction there is a need of energy that form the small molecule and converted into the large molecule so energy is utilized in the anabolism so here is an example of photosynthesis in the example of photosynthesis what will happen the small molecule of water and carbon dioxide they combine together and form the large molecule that is glucose or and that is the carbohydrate that is formed at the end of the uh, photosynthesis so in this way we said that anabolism is a process in which a smaller molecules are combined to form the large molecules so energy is utilized in anabolism and the examples are photosynthesis and assimilation then we will discuss about the second one that is catabolism it includes the biochemical reactions in which the larger molecule are broken down look at this picture 
This is a larger molecule that breaks and converts into the smaller molecule. And when these large molecules are broken down, the energy is released. Here you can see that the energy is released. Then this energy is used in the anabolism. So in the process of catabolism, the energy is released. And the examples are respiration and the digestion of food. So what is respiration? Respiration is a reverse or opposite process to the photosynthesis. In the photosynthesis, you notice that when carbon dioxide and water, these are the small molecules, they combine to form glucose. But in the case of respiration, what will happen? The large molecule that is glucose, that becomes broken down into the small molecule like water and carbon dioxide. So these are the two types of the metabolism. In this way, we said that biochemical reactions are usually energy transfer. Okay. Then we will discuss about the enzyme. What is the main introduction of the enzymes or what are enzymes? Now, what are the role of enzyme in the metabolism? During metabolism, chemicals are transferred from one form to other by the enzymes. Like the reactants and the products are formed, they are transferred from one type to another with the help of the enzyme. So, what are the enzymes? Enzymes are crucial to metabolism because they act as a biocatalyst and speed up and regulate the metabolic pathways. What does it mean? All the chemical reactions, either the anabolism or catabolism, that are happening in the body. Enzymes speed up and regulate this reaction. For example, if there is a need to form the product from the substrate, then what will happen? Any chemical reaction that are taking place in living organism, the products are formed and these are formed from the substrate. The things that is required that are enzyme, then enzyme combine with substrate and form the complex. And finally, the products will be formed. Look at this picture. These are the substrate. These are the reactants. When they combine with enzyme, they form the enzyme substrate complex and the, after that the products are produced. So what are the proper definition of enzyme? We said that enzymes are the proteins. These are the linear change of amino acids that catalyze. Catalyze means that they speed up the and regulate the chemical reactions and not change during the reaction. What does it mean? If you will observe in nature, enzymes are protein, but at the end, after catalyzing the reaction, after speed up the reaction, what will happen? They become unchanged. Look at this picture. This is the enzyme and these are the substrate. When enzyme and substrates are combined, they form the enzyme substrate complex. After that, enzymes as it is, it is not unchanged and the products are released. So we said that. When enzyme and substrates are combined, they form the enzyme substrate complex. At the end, the products would release and enzyme remains unchanged. So what is the proper definition of substrate and product we will discuss in this slide. So how enzyme act? We can study it under the three headings or three steps that are the substrates, products and activation energy. First of all, we will discuss about the substrate, the molecules at which enzyme act. So we can say that the reactants that are present in any reaction need to be converted into the products. These are known as the substrate. Look at here in this picture. These are the substrate. These are the reactants. For example, lipid is a substrate of the enzyme lipase. Enzyme lipase we had at work on the lipid. Is ke andar jo hamare pa substrate hai, jisne enzyme ke saath act karna hai, that is lipid. After that, when the enzyme combined with substrate or reactants, what will happen? Enzyme substrate complex is formed. And then when enzyme convert these substrate or reactants into different molecules, the molecules that are formed, look at here, these are the molecules, these are known as the products. And enzyme becomes unchanged. So in the same example, we have the enzyme lipase in which the glycerol and the fatty acids are the products that comes from the enzyme lipase so this is about the substrate and the product then there is a term that is activation energy we know that all chemical reactions require activation energy so what is activation energy it is defined as minimum energy required to start a reaction kisi bhi reaction ko start karwane ke liye push up karne ke liye there is an energy that is required that is known as the activation energy for all the initiating step or the at the starting at the beginning the minimum amount of energy is required that is the activation energy so this is act as a barrier look at this picture 
in which this one is that activation energy that is barrier. So we can set that for example in this diagram to convert the reactants in this product this one is a reactant and this one is a product. There is a need to convert the reactant into a product. So at the center there is an activation energy. The energy there is a need to cross this barrier so the barrier is an activation energy required to start a reaction. That's why we said that activation energy is act as a barrier. So the need of activation energy act as a barrier to the beginning of the reaction. Enzyme lowers such barrier to decreasing the requirement of activation energy. Thus, in the presence of enzyme, reaction proceed as fast rate. What does it mean? It means that without enzyme, the activation energy requirement increases. And with the enzyme, the activation energy requirement decreases. What will happen? Same like that, enzymes minimize the requirement of activation energy when they, the reactant change into the products. Then the reactant can easily cross the barrier and convert into the products. When the enzyme are present, the reactant easily cross the barrier and changes into the product and activation energy decreases. When there is no enzyme, then reactant cannot easily pass the barrier and change into product because there are no enzyme present in our That's why the activation energy requirement becomes increases. So then we will discuss about what are the ways of the lowering the activation energy, how enzyme lower the activation energy. Enzyme lower the activation energy in the several ways. There are three ways that we discuss in this topic. So first of all, they may alter the shape of substrate and reduce the requirement of energy for this change. When enzymes are combined with substrate and enzyme complexes form, they alter the shape of the substrate and change into the product. Then second one, some enzyme do so by disrupting charge distribution on the substrate. When they are combined with substrate and form the enzyme substrate complex, then the charge distribution that is on the substrate that becomes changes. That's why this is the another way of lowering the activation energy. And what is the third one? Enzyme may also lower activation energy by bringing substrate into correct orientation to react. When, then when the substrate that are needed to combine with an enzyme are in their correct position or orientation, then also enzyme lower their activation energy, then the chemical reaction proceed at the faster rate. So we can say that enzyme are very important for the activation energy and minimize the activation energy. How enzyme lower the activation energy? Look at here in this graph. Okay, in this graph, we notice that activation energy at the one side and the one side there is a free energy. I said that activation energy with enzyme, when you have enzyme present hoga, with enzyme, the activation energy becomes decreases. So look at this graph, activation energy decreases where the enzyme is present and without enzyme, the activation energy requirement increases. Okay, then we will discuss about the categories of enzyme. Enzyme can be categorized into two types on the basis of the site where they work. Site are the place where enzyme are present and do their working. They are the two main types, intracellular enzymes and extracellular enzyme. Intracellular means the enzyme that are present inside the cell. And extracellular means the enzymes that are present outside the cell. So intracellular enzymes that work inside the cell, the example are enzyme of glycolysis. Glycolysis is the breakdown of glucose working in the cytoplasm. And extracellular enzymes that work outside the cell, pep like pepsin enzyme working in the stomach cavity. So look at this picture. There are the enzymes that are the intracellular and the enzymes that are the extracellular. Extracellular enzyme at outside a cell and intracellular enzyme act inside a cell. This is about the categories of enzyme. Okay, students, this is about today's topic and about enzymes and about their metabolism and the types of metabolism and then activation energy and the categories of enzyme. I hope everything becomes clear. Okay, students, stay safe and healthy and do proper learning. Allah Hafiz.